Hey guys, this is Travis Elliott and welcome to the core class from the program Yoga 30 for 30 available in its entirety on Inner Dimension TV, which is a monthly yoga and streaming platform to help you awaken your fullest, greatest potential. Also make sure that you click on the link down below. I want to hook you up with three free amazing classes. All right, let's get started. Have a great practice. Hey everybody, welcome to the core sequence. Let's go ahead and get started right on our backs, bottoms of the feet together, knees out, interlace the fingers behind the head and neck. Take an inhale here, exhale chest up, inhale down, exhale up. Just continue here on your own as we start this core sequence. If you want, you can breathe in through the nose and then you can breathe out through the mouth. You can also find your way into the tempo that feels right for you. So you can explore moving a little slow sometimes, a little quicker other times, but just keep coordinating the movements with the breath so you maintain the integrity of the vinyasa. Last few of these, we'll say last five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring your knees together. Grab the shin, squeeze the knees in. Go ahead and rock and roll. All the way up to seated, hands behind you, fingers forward. Bring the knees into the chest, extend the legs out. Bring them in, exhale. Inhale out, exhale in. On your own, just keep flowing here. And as we strengthen the core, keep this in mind. You're not only strengthening the abdominal wall, but from a yoga perspective, the core is connected to our power, our self-esteem, and also our willpower. So when we have that strong self-esteem, we're no longer limited by our own fears, the fears that hold us back. So let's strengthen the outer core, but let's also strengthen the inner core as well. Last five, four, three, two, one, good, bring the soles of the feet together, toes forward, heels in. Grab the feet, little break for you. Take an inhale, lift up, and exhale, come down. It's just a tiny little break. So get it while you can. Good, that's it, now come back up. Hands to the outer knees, close the knees together. And then we'll come straight into bow pose. So go ahead and float the shins off the ground. Extend the hands straight out in front of you chest up, head back. So this becomes a little isometric hold. So this helps us to really strengthen what we call the transverse abdominis. If you wanna work those legs or straight, feel free. Let's bring the hands together. Interlace all the fingers except the indexes. And then go ahead and twist all the way over towards the right. Keeping that breath steady. Keeping that face soft. Good, let's stroke it all the way over to the left. Breath steady, mind steady, finding that calm in the storm. Good, now come down the middle. Spread the hands a little wide. Take an inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, come all the way down to the back. Grab a shin, squeeze the knees in for a moment. Give your lower back a little rock side to side. And moving right along, leg straight out in front of you. Reach the arms up over your head, take an inhale there. On the exhale, right leg up, arms out, reach in the twist. Inhale down, exhale other side. On your own, continue to flow there. take breaks take breaks don't beat yourself up just do what you can do and gradually over time your muscles will start adapting and it'll become more and more of an easy thing so again trust the process of being challenged last five four three two and one, reach, good. Bend the knees, feet flat on the floor, the width of the hips. 
Lift the chest up, extend the arms out, palms down, and then start reaching side to side. So now we get into those side abdominals, getting into those obliques. Keep that chest up and just keep switching side to side. As you start to feel that burn, trust that burn. They call it the solar plexus for a good reason because this is where that solar energy resides. Keep pulsing side to side. How you doing over there, Lauren? Woo! Feeling good? I'm feeling great. She's feeling great. I'm not feeling so great, <laughs> but I'm trying. Good, keep reaching side to side. We'll say last five, four, three, two, one. Good, grab the shins, squeeze the knees in. Rock and roll all the way up to seated. Flip those legs around, get down to your belly. No time to waste. We call this the forearm plank. So come up onto those forearms. You can interlace the fingers if you want, or you can keep the hands flat the width of the shoulders. Now we're gonna be here for 60 seconds. So see if you can just hold here, extend back through your heels, reach out through your heart, drive down through your forearms so you're not sitting into those shoulders. Keep that breath flowing and use your breath as a tool to give you the fuel that you need to sustain through the hold. This is about building that strength in that abdominal area. Those core stabilizing muscles. You got about a last 20 seconds. This is the last hardest part of this pose. So hang in there. Remember, nobody's gonna be upset if you need to take a break. So do what you can. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release that belly down onto the ground. Woo, Sphinx pose. Take a little break there, extend that heart forward. Feel that stretch of that abdominal wall. And Next move, shift those hands back to cobra position, tuck the toes underneath the feet, and then press up to plank, upper push up, strong inner hands. From here, right foot up, inhale, right knee right, tricep to exhale. Press back, inhale, set it down, exhale. Left foot up, inhale, left knee, left arm, exhale. Inhale back, exhale, set it down. On your own, keep flowing called Plank Mountain Climbers. There you guys, cross those feet, release down all the way onto your back, bring those knees right into your chest, interlace the fingers behind the head and neck, bicycle, take an inhale, right elbow, left knee, right leg kicks out straight, inhale the middle, exhale other side on your own, last 60 seconds. This is it, so this helps us to get into the whole abdominal wall, the lower, the middle, the upper side abdominals as well. And remember, you can move at any rhythm, any tempo that feels right for you. Last 20 
seconds. Maybe this is the time to fire it up. Coming to that climax. Make sure you're not cranking on your head and neck. Let those abdominal muscles do all of the work. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, leg straight up to the sky. Extend the arm straight out in front. Lift that chest up, hold there. Last five, four, three, two, reach for one, and exhale. Bend the knees into the chest. Woo, both feet flat on the floor, the width of the hips. And then bridge pose, lift those hips. Tuck the shoulders underneath the upper back. And after all that contracting and squeezing through the belly, just allow your belly muscles to soften and relax. Oh man, you do that every day, you definitely will be ready for bathing suit season. Take an inhale there, come up onto the toes, lift those hips up. And exhale, release onto the back, Shavasana, let the legs, let the arms open out wide, and just take several moments here, and feel that vibrancy in your core. Alright you guys, you made it, officially. We're gonna say that this core class is now complete. Thanks for showing up and joining us. Be consistent, be inspired, and we'll see you next time. All right, hope you enjoyed that core class. Thanks for tuning in today. Remember to click on that link to get those three free amazing classes and also start your 10 day free trial over at Interdimension TV. We have so many amazing classes whether you're looking for power yoga yin yoga meditation gentle we got it all so come check it out we'd love to have you in our amazing online community all right i look forward to connecting very soon down the road let me know down in the comments below how your class was today and where in the world are you practicing from peace